got like this one just waiting to go to the reception now. Um, yeah, it's the second time, he's, he's not too bad, he seems alright. Had a bit of a chat okay. with him this morning, he's, Good stuff. he's had to come to me. Um, I can't believe I'm back here again. I have to explain the whole thing all over again. Just maybe need to keep an eye on that so he's a little bit out of his comfort zone. I don't even know anyone up here. Yeah, I think so. I'll have a word for him to how it's going on. I think he's going to do it. Excellent. We'll get him processed. Transportation or love. I don't want to be here. I don't know what's going on. How is she? How is she doing? A little bit stressed. Yeah. So you're hoping to get shipped closer to London then? Yeah. Well, well look, we'll just take you over to healthcare, get you sorted out there, and then we'll move you on to the wing, yeah? And All you right. can settle yourself down. Is it your first time, yeah? Yeah. Go on, you'll be all right. This way. I've just got a few questions that I need to ask you, but I want to reassure you that everything you're going to tell me is entirely private and confidential to healthcare. I work for the health service, not the prison service. Okay. Are you on any medication? Yeah, I'm on um, epilepsy medication. Epilin. Right, okay. Well, epilin is usually prescribed for epilepsy. Do you have epilepsy? Yeah. Okay. And when was your last seizure or fit? Uh, about a year, actually now about nine months ago. What sort of seizures did you used to have when you had them? Like, sometimes it was just like jerking and then, or like full fits. I get this kind of funny taste in my mouth, and like a weird, weird kind of smell. I don't really remember them when they happen, so... And I just, I have a fit. Right, next question, Tracy. Are you pregnant? No. Is there any possibility that you might be pregnant? No, definitely not. Right, well, is it something that you might be planning for the future? Yeah. Good. Well, the reason why I ask is that women with epilepsy normally go on to have healthy babies. However, it's very important that your pregnancy is planned so that if there's any changes to you, your medication, we can do that, if necessary, before your pregnancy. Okay. Okay. So, is it okay if I tell your personal officer about your epilepsy? Yeah, no problem. No, I, I, I don't want anyone to know anything. I'm Lou from next door. Is it all right if I pop in? Yeah. Do you mind if I sit down? Yeah, it's fine. I am Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Are you all right? You look frightened. If you need somebody to talk to, I'm a listener. Have you seen there's a sign on the door that's some of the signs that say people are listeners? How long have you been here? Oh, five years now. <laughs> How about you? Um, well, they said six months, so... Oh, that's nothing. You'll be out in no time. <laughs> well, they said I'm only here for one night, so... Yeah, you'll be moving in with somebody else, so that's that's good. So, like, a shared, a shared one? Pretty much like this, but with a bunk bed. So right, are they all bunk beds, then? Yeah, they are, yeah. You'll be on the top bunk, I would think, because oh. that's, that's the way it goes. Whoever's in first gets the bottom bunk, so... It's just not very good <laughs> with no. that. Can you not swap, like... Do you, mm. Does it have to be like that? Well, it doesn't have to be, but it's no big deal. You'll be fine. And then, then what, what if you need something when the doors are locked? There's a bell. It's over there on the wall, so you can ring that. And it, so, so it's always an officer that comes in? Yes, yeah, because they need to come and check and see what's going on. But can they go and, like, they can get other people if you need oh, yeah, it? yeah, of course they can. Of course they Roll can. Roger. Oh, sorry, got to go. I'll see you later, OK? Have you just moved in the pad next to me? I don't know, what pad are you in? 
223. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, thought that was you, innit? Yeah. Have you just come in, yeah? Yeah. Where are you from? London. London, yeah? What are you doing up here, then? I've got a bit of bother up here, innit? So I got sentenced up here. Yeah? How yeah. did you go? Two years. <laughs> Rough. Nah, it's not even like that, mate. It's just, just one of those things, innit? Yeah. Yeah. Have you spoke to anyone in here? No, not really, just keep oh, my head down. There's a few beauties in here, mate. Yeah. There's a few sound lads as well. Mm. No, hopefully ain't going to be here for too long. No? Well, listen, if you need anything, mate, just give us the shells. Alright. Actually, you know what? There is something. I've got epilepsy. What's that? I mean, I've heard of it, like, what is it? Basically, all it means is that every now and again, well, sometimes I can get seizures or fits. But, like, Fall on the floor and shaking all nah, that business. Nah, not really. I mean, that does happen sometimes, but usually it's it's a lot more than that. They, what they call focal seizures. So basically, it's just like I'm in a trance, like I'm not. What are they called? Focal. Focal seizures. Yeah, or yeah. partial. Yeah. So it's like I'm in a trance, like I'm sleepwalking, like I'm not all there. Sometimes I just start like pulling off my clothes. <laughs> pulling off your yeah. clothes. Yeah. So just make sure I don't, obviously I don't, do you know what I mean, start taking my clothes or do anything stupid. Yeah, I don't think it'd be a good idea in here, mate. Just make sure I'm not like near stairs or anything like that, because obviously I'll fall down the stairs, because right. I look awake, but I'm not. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not really like aware of what's going on around me and stuff. Um, make sure I don't walk into anything, bang into anything. If I do have like a proper full-on seizure, which will very rarely ever happen. What's that? Is that falling on the... That's when yeah, you're proper yeah, fully like, yeah, laid right. out, stiff, shaking like the whole night. So like, just grab hold of you? No, 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 don't grab hold of me. Just oh. make sure there's nothing I can bang myself into. Like just make yeah. sure the space is clear. But just make sure my head's okay. Like make sure I don't bang my head. Maybe just hold my head or put a pillow or something under my head just so I don't bang my head and just leave me to it. Like, I'll just literally shake it out and after a couple of minutes I'll, I should be all right. Sorry, what mate? Uh, the you than me, bro. Yeah. Listen, I'm off. All right. Nice one, mate. All right. Nice one, Yeah, mate. Yeah, right. You alright, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'll say you fell in there. Just some activities. Yeah. <laughs> A little tip for you, mate, yeah? IT in the morning's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so, um, one of my boys was saying that you might have some meds, is that right? Yeah. Well, we could go into business together. Yeah, but if I don't take my meds, I'm gonna have a seizure. You're not knowing, I've come to you with a proposition, yeah? You know, we only get 15 quid in here for the canteen. Sort you right out. I know plenty of people. Yeah, but if I give you the meds, where am I going to get meds from? That's easy, we're just filling an app, yeah? We just say, been taken from your pad. Next morning we've got some more. Just goes round like that. What, just like that? Yeah. Trust me. Well, I'm not sure, mate. Yeah? It's not the way we roll round here. Yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, I'll leave you to have a little think about it. Come see you tomorrow. Tell me about you know the one that's going around. Right. Absolutely horrendous. I didn't know whether I was coming or going. Mm. You haven't got that, have you? No. Oh, that's good. So uh, nothing serious, I hope. No. Okay. You know you can always talk to me, don't you? It's yeah. Um, I think I've forgot my ID. To be honest. Um, do you want my place? You sure? Yeah, I'm going to go back and get it. You see your place no, if you want. Fine. Don't get stressed. You get stressed, you're gonna have a seizure. Just don't worry about it. Focus. Yeah. All right. You're right, miss. Yeah. What do you want? Um, can you hang on to my meds for me, please? What for? Just to keep him safe. I thought you had him. 
I did, I do, but I just want to, you've got a safe here, haven't you? Can you put them in a safe for me, please? Can you not keep them at healthcare? No, I don't want to be traipsing back and forth to healthcare all the time. It's long. Is there anything you want to tell me, Marcus? Well, you know, things tend to go walkies in here sometimes, so mm. I just want to avoid that. Just be careful. Have you got your meds on you now? No, I just took the last one this morning. I'm going over to healthcare now, so I'll bring them back after. All right. All right. Be careful. You too. People find out I've got epilepsy, they're just going to bully me. When I have a seizure, they're just, just going to think I'm weird. I'm just going to be the, that girl who has a fits. Who's going to be there to help me? I'm not going to hear the end of that, am I? It's just going to be like in school. I just really don't want to have a seizure. What if I wet myself? I'm never going to last in here. never going to last in here. I'm never going to last in here. She's only in for six months. Oh, I wish she'd said something to me. So what's everyone saying about me? Look, everybody feels sorry for you. We all want to help. And they just think I'm an idiot. No, they don't. Look, there's loads of people here with all sorts of stuff going on. Did you see it? No, I didn't. But I heard. What did they say? Well, they just said that you gave them all a bit of a fright. You just fell on the floor and started twitching. I just want to go home. Oh, look, we all do. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Come here. Come here. Oh, look, you're all right now. It's all out in the open, all right? Yeah, we can all help you. Hmm? Yeah. You know you can talk to me any time. Yeah, thanks. Come here. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed the film. Stay with us while we go over some of the main points again. We're also going to show you some basic first aid, so you know what to do if you see someone having a tonic-clonic seizure. Speak to healthcare. Remember, what you tell healthcare is confidential. Healthcare won't tell anyone else unless you want them to. So if you do have epilepsy, let healthcare know. This is particularly important if you are or could be pregnant. Help yourself. There are things you can do to help yourself. One of the most important things is to take your epilepsy medicine or meds as prescribed and look after them. Always keep your meds safe. If you feel pressurized by someone about your meds, you can tell healthcare or ask an officer to keep your meds safe for you. Tell others. It's a good thing to tell people about your epilepsy because they can help you. Tell them what to do and what not to do when you have a seizure or fit. There are many different types of seizure. In the film, Marcus tells his neighbour what it's like when he has a type of focal seizure. With a focal seizure, the seizure starts in just one part of the brain. People have different symptoms depending on which part of the brain is involved and they may or may not be aware of what's happening. Whatever type of seizure they have, they'll not be able to control or stop it. If you see someone having a focal seizure, this is what you should do. Stay calm. Gently guide the person from danger, away from stairs for example. Stay with them until they recover. This is what you should not do. Don't try to stop the seizure. Don't act in a way that could frighten them, such as shouting at them or making sudden movements. Don't try to bring them round. Also in the film, we saw Tracy having a tonic-clonic seizure, or FIT. A tonic-clonic seizure is a type of generalised seizure, 
This is where the seizure happens in both halves of the brain. The person's body goes stiff, they lose consciousness and fall to the floor. This is followed by jerking of the whole body. What we like to do now is show you this type of seizure happening during a prison visit. The prison officer shows how to help someone having a tonic-clonic seizure. Is that your VO? Yeah. I'll just take that off you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. F3, which is just down here on your left-hand side. All right? Cheers. Boss! Boss! Wait, somebody's fallen! Oh, okay, wrong? she can't harm herself, there's nothing around her. The first thing to do is stay calm. You might want to call for help. Remove any harmful objects that may be nearby. Cushion the head with something soft, or your hands. Okay, that's under her head, and put in the recovery position. Once the seizure is finished, move them onto their side, into the recovery position. I'm now putting her in the recovery position, okay? She's absolutely fine. You okay, love? Hi, yeah, man. You're in the prison visits. Stay with them and be calm and reassuring. You're in the hall, okay? You've had a fit, you've collapsed. You're in safe hands. <laughs> the person may wear ID jewellery or have a card that tells you about their epilepsy, although not everyone with epilepsy chooses to do this. Yeah, she's got epilepsy. The healthcare on the way and she's comfortable until they arrive. If you see someone having a tonic-clonic seizure or fit, this is what not to do. Don't try to stop the seizure. Don't try to move them unless they're in danger. Don't put anything in their mouth. Don't try to bring them round. Don't give them anything to eat or drink until they've fully recovered. Thanks for watching. What we hope we've done is raise awareness of epilepsy so that you can help yourself or help others.